I wanted to kind of do a vlog today, and then I also wanted to do a tag. Um, this tag was done by Rachel Whitehurst. Um, she wasn't the original person to do it, but I don't remember which YouTuber she said. Um, I can link her down below, and um, you can see her video. She did a fun one. Um, I don't know if I want to do the tag first or vlog. I think both are going to be kind of long because I'm. It, some of the vlogging has to do with like you know issues in today's world and stuff. So um, I think I'm going to start with the tag. Okay. So. The tag is um, YouTube Interview. Um, these are for people who um, have YouTube channels or maybe thinking about starting one, which you probably want to at least be doing a, a channel for, I don't know, a month before you try this tag because some of the questions have to do with like how long you've been doing it. So, question number one. Um, how did it feel to make your first video? Um, I don't remember, like, I think some of my first videos were actually slideshows. Um, I had this Windows media player, and I would, um, take pictures and stuff, and put music to it, and that was pretty much it. I think the first actual video of myself that I posted, um, because even, even in the beginning I, I did, like, little videos of my daughter singing or something. I didn't really do a whole lot of me. Like, I, I didn't set this channel up so that I could be famous. Um, actually, it was my sister's idea. And uh, I just uh, was like, okay. Um, I think the first video I did was probably like a haul. I didn't really vlog much in the beginning. I didn't do much of anything. Um, I just saw my friends were... Um, like, Catherine was doing, like, a, a, a thrifting fashion thing, and that looked like a lot of fun, so I did a haul. I think it, I think that was the first thing. I'm not really sure. Um, you could check <laughs> and go through all my videos and find out, like, some of the earliest ones. Um, I don't remember how I felt. I think I was kind of nervous. I'm like, God, I probably sound like a freaking idiot, and no one's going to watch me. Like, why I'm not that interesting. Um, question number two. Did you show anyone the, the video before you uploaded it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't even remember really talking to anybody about it. I was just like, click, let's see what happens, kind of thing. <laughs> um, question number three. Do your friends and family know about your channel? Um, definitely my friends, because I film them at my parties and stuff. Um, family, not so much. I mean, my sisters know about it, but I don't think they really care. Um, my, I think I've told my mom about it, but she doesn't really do internet, so I don't know if she's ever watched anything. And, um, I was actually surprised because my aunt who lives down in Florida actually knew about it and I didn't because I had mentioned it to her when I visited her over the summer because I was filming something that I was going to put on YouTube and I was like hey is it okay if I film you because you're going to be on YouTube and she's like oh that's fine she's like I've watched your thing and I was like oh it's like you know of it that's kind of cool um, I don't think she watches it like all the time but I was just I was like oh Thank you. I don't know if she likes it, though. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it'd be cool if my family watched it, but I don't think anyone... I think my family is just kind of like, you know, whatever. Um, the, only t the only time I ever really um, post anything from YouTube, from my channel, onto Facebook, is if it's like, like the video snow day that I did with my kids because I know um, my sisters really wanted to see that um, well I don't think my, my sister Greta is not really on YouTube anymore but my sister Katie was and she's like I cried the whole time and I was like that was the point okay um, so yeah I don't, I don't think 
friends for sure, family not so much. I just don't think they care enough. Um, and I don't, I don't like promote myself around my family. I'm like, hey, watch my channel. I'm super awesome. I mean, that'd be weird to say to your uncle, who's like, you know, whatever, lady. I'm just gonna come over here and eat a sandwich. All right. Um, question number five. Did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber? Um. I don't know, like, it was so gradual, like, I didn't even really mean to become a YouTuber, I was just like, it started off just doing slideshows, and then I started doing hauls, and then all of a sudden I was like, it was a thing, like, this is like a big hobby for me now, um, I don't get paid for it or anything, I was trying to set up the whole Google Plus thing, but I don't think I did it right, so I'm probably never going to get a check. But honestly, at this point in my life, I don't even care anymore. I'm just like, whatever. I like doing the videos because it's fun, and it's kind of, like, therapeutic for me. So, um, I just, it's like a big, th it's, it's a thing for me. Like, I do, like, two videos a week, if not more. Um, I don't think anyone really thought it was crazy because no one ever really knew about it. And the only pers people that did know about it were doing it as well my friends Amanda and Catherine. Amanda doesn't do hers anymore. I think it's just, it was like a, a phase for her. Like, she had fun with it at the time, but she's got way more stuff that she's more invested to, so YouTube wasn't really a thing for her. Um, Catherine, on the other hand, um, she's like a YouTuber, and um, she's been doing stuff like that, too. So, um... I don't think anyone really thought it was crazy because the only people that really knew about it, um, like, uh, other than my husband, I don't think even my husband thought it was crazy. He was like, yeah, whatever, whatever makes you happy, I don't care. So, <laughs> um, he actually watches it sometimes, though. He watches it so randomly, though, he doesn't, like, watch every single video. He's, if he's on YouTube and he happens to look on my channel, he's like, oh, shoot a new video. I'm gonna check that out. Which is why I have to be so particular about, like, not showing any gifts or anything that I get him, which sucks because my last, um, like, Christmassy haul, I had gotten him, like, five things that I couldn't show any of it because I know him. That would be the one time he'd actually get on my channel and look at all that, and I'm just like, bah. Um, question number six. How and why did you choose your YouTube name? Actually, I did not choose my original YouTube name. It was, a uh, Dory Beam. I was actually, everyone thinks it's, um, because of bumblebees, but it's actually not, um, my, the first, like, word thing that I ever said was Beeboo, and so that's been my nickname with my sisters since birth, basically, and, um, so she was trying to do Dory Beeboo, but, um, I guess Beeboo would have been taken or something, so she just did Dory B, and so that was kind of my thing for a while, but when I switched to Google Plus and tried to add all that, it changed my name to Dory Hammers, and I was just like, well, you know, whatever, I'll keep it. Um, so that wasn't a big deal. It would have been nice to have been Dory B, though, because I, I did like, I did like it, and I actually had a B, B top that I got, and I was like, it's like the B show. <laughs> Which me and Catherine want to open up a thrifting store and call it the Thrifting Bee. I think that will happen. Like in our thirties, I think this will happen. I'm excited. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take some business classes or something in high school, high school, college. Uh, I feel like I'm 16. Um, okay, yeah. So yeah, I didn't actually choose my name. Hi. Hi. Okay, um, question number seven. What have you gained from being on YouTube? Um, I think mainly what I've gained is friends. Um, and, um, maybe more confidence in myself. Hi, buddy. No, play your game. I'm not going to put a movie in there because you won't be able to hear me. So yeah, I've gained, I think I've, I've, I'm a lot more confident in like, um, not just like me as a person, but just in things I do and I don't second guess myself so much and um, I think my 
style has gotten way better over the past couple of years. Um, because I stopped trying to be, I don't know, like, I, I don't know what it was. Like, I, I just started getting things that I really wanted. Even if I felt like I couldn't fit in something or I didn't, I wouldn't look right in it because I wasn't the right body type, I, I would just get it anyway. And, um, and it, it worked, you know, like, it suited me. And I, I stopped trying to... I don't think I did that very much, but I think, especially, well, in high school, I tried to please other people more so than myself, and now I'm just like, whatever, I don't care about you, I'll just do what I want. <laughs> but, um, the community I've, I've gained over YouTube is awesome. I've met so many awesome people, I've done thrift swaps with people, um, I know people, I know someone from Australia, like, that just blows my mind, because I'm just like, oh my god, you live so far away, and we're kind of pen pals now, and, um, and, you know, and I know people from the UK now, now I feel like if I were to ever visit the UK, which I would love to do, um, I would have, like, a whole bunch of people who just wanted to hang out with me, and I'm like, let's go hang out and do party things, <laughs> I'm like, let's go shopping, <laughs> you know, I'm like, I'd be totally fine just, like, hanging out at somebody's house watching movies, I'm like, I'm just so happy to be here. <laughs> <coughs> Which I think me and Catherine are planning on going sometime together. I don't know when, but it can't be anytime soon. I just, I don't have money to do, to travel like that. I've never, I've never been on an airplane, which is kind of daunting for me. And, um, number eight, are you interested in giveaways? Yes, I did one giveaway, but it was terrible because I... It, I had done the giveaway, but it took me so long to come up with enough money to send the package. And it just was it's so daunting. And it was because I, I decided instead of just having things in the giveaway and saying, like, hey, this is what you could win, I, wait, I waited for someone to win, and then I went to go kind of shop for them. And I don't think that was a good idea because cause then I had to go shop for something, which took time. And... Um, I mean, it took me forever to send it, and it was just, it was a bad experience. I, I screwed up, basically, and I did, I made it really long and drawn out, and it sucked. But, I mean, she was really happy with what she got, but it, I felt bad because it, like, it took forever to get there. So, I, I mean, I would like to do another one, but I've been waiting to get more subscribers. I'm in the 200 range. I was going to wait till like, 300 or something. Um... I don't know, it fluctuates, like, every couple of days. Like, sometimes I gain two, and then I lose three, so, I don't know. Um, yeah, I am interested, but, um, I'm going to try and plan it out better for next time. Um, number nine, do you allow s subscribers to send you gifts? Yes. <laughs> um, it kind of depends, though. I feel like I have to... I try to become Facebook friends with the YouTubers before I just throw out my address because I feel like at least if I'm Facebook friends with you, I can get to know you even if you don't do YouTube videos because I feel kind of weird just throwing my address out there if I've never seen you or talked to you in any form. Um, like I'm even willing to do like emails or something if that sounds fun. I, I don't, I feel really weird when people send me gifts, though, because I'm like, I don't really know you, like, why would you want to send me something, but it's really sweet when people just, they care so much, and they want to get me something, I'm like, it's really nice, well, you know, uh, <laughs> sometimes I get it because I'm in desperate need, apparently, like, um, those brushes from Liz, <laughs> but, um, I did two th thrift swaps, so, I mean, that was kind of out of the blue, but it was with people who who are on YouTube. Um, one of which, um, actually isn't on YouTube much anymore. I don't know if she's ever going to come back. I hope she does. Liz Smith, I hope you come back if you watch this. Um, but yeah, it's just a lot of, a lot of that going on. Um, I, I would, but I have to kind of get to know you a little bit if you want to send me something. Um, but again, like, I feel kind of awkward because it's like, you know, don't waste your money on me. <laughs> I feel like, cause I feel like I should be sending you something back, which I have surprises for people. So hopefully that'll be nice. Um, number ten, how do your kids feel about 
their mom being on YouTube. I guess this is kind of, um, you don't have to necessarily even ask this question to yourself if you do do it, because not everyone has kids on YouTube. The majority of YouTube people are like 20s and younger, so, although <laughs> I'm 24 and I have two kids, so, um, but yeah, um, uh, what was the question? Oh yeah, how do my kids feel? I don't think they really care. Well, Ivan's a baby, so he doesn't really care. But Nora, she thinks it's interesting. I think she she likes it because she likes it when I film her and put her on things. She likes watching herself. She's not vain. She's just like me. I did the exact same thing. We had like home videos, and I was like, look how awesome I am. I love myself. Like I love showing people me as a child because I thought it was so hilarious. My like, God, <laughs> how 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 goofy can you be? Anyway, um. Yeah, I, I, she'd be the only one to, that would actually really qualify for this question. And um, I think she thinks it's fun. Um, usually when I record something, she's always like, are you going to put this on YouTube? And I was like, yeah. And she's like, okay. I think she just, it's just kind of like a, a norm now. She's like, all right, whatever. Um, yeah, I mean, I've been doing it for a couple of years. Or like two years, I think, now. So, well, at least avidly, and, um, so yeah, I think it's just kind of normal for her. Um, number 11, how do you choose topics? Kind of just whatever I feel like. Um, sometimes I want to rant about something. It just depends on if I think it's worthy enough to be on YouTube, because a lot of the time, I personally cannot stand just r really random stupid videos out there. There are so many pointless videos out there. And I'm sure some of mine are really pointless as well. Um, but I like I like making little short films. I like doing like, you know, down memory lane videos. I like vlogging. Vlogging sort of just sort of developed. I didn't really plan I was mainly just doing, like, outfits of the day and thrift hauls, and that was kind of it. And then, like, I just started evolving from that. Then I started, you know, sort of doing more filming of the actual stores and trying to make, like, a music video out of it. And then I started doing actual movies, which I've always liked to do. Um, and I think I've just been getting better and better with time. And then I love filming my parties. <laughs> I really wish I would have filmed the Hunger Games party. I mean, I did a little bit, but I wish I would have done, like, a little mini, like, Hunger Games skit or something. Which I'm actually planning on doing a Hunger, a Hunger Games thing. I don't know if I'm going to... I'm either going to do it, like, for the release of Catching Fire on DVD, or I'm going to wait till, um Mockingjay goes to theaters. Because I really want to do something for that. Um, because I had so much fun dressing up like a crazy capital character. Um, before I, I was just a capital party. I just realized you're in the tent. My dog's in the tent. Um, but, oh, what's I talking about? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> I, uh, before it was just a capital party and you couldn't be, like, a tribute or anything. But I think next time I'm going to be like, you know, whatever you want to do, I don't care. I'm going to be a capital person because I like dressing up all crazy. That's what I do. So there's a lot of that. I just basically get all the crazy jewelry that I have, slap that on, and, like, put on, like, a wacky dress, and it's fun. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, like, topic-wise, I just sort of, whatever I feel like, yeah. Whatever I'm in the mood to film, and if I think it's worth watching. If I can't stand to watch it, then I'm not going to post it on YouTube. Because there are times I find myself so boring. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm just... Going on, on, on about nothing. <laughs> Number 12. Would you consider collabing with other YouTubers? I would like to. Um, no one's asked me. I feel weird, like, asking people to do things. Because I feel like, you know, I'm intruding. I don't really know a whole lot of, like, YouTubers personally other than, like, the Beth Blue Eyes and Catherine Thrust. Catherine's really busy. She's in London right now. Holy crap. 
Um, so basically, I kind of just wait for other people to be interested in doing something. And there's all different kinds of collabs. Like there's one where you go thrifting, like both of you go thrifting and get like a item or something. You send it to each other and then you have to make it chic. Like you take something really boring and make it your own or something. Um, I'm not really good at stuff like that though. I don't know, like there's a bunch of different collabs and I wouldn't even really know what to do. But if someone wanted to try one with me, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, because I know a lot of people do collabs and it's becoming like more and more popular. So I would like to try one, but I'm not really sure what I'd be doing. Question number 13. What do you like to watch on YouTube? Oh, all kinds of things. I love watching cat videos. I'm lame. Yes, I know. I like watching cat videos. Um, I love watching, I mean, yeah, I like watching thrift stuff, but that gets kind of old after a while, especially if you're, like, constantly watching thrift, thrift, thrift. Um, I like to watch Outfit of the Days. I like watching people do lookbooks and how they style their outfits and things like that. Or, like, sometimes I just type in, like, um, like, I've been wanting to get more skirts, and I want a particular kind of skirt that's, like, short and it flares, and I look up, like, you know, short flare skirt styles, and, like, that's cool to do. I'm also really looking up tutorials, um, on, like, certain kinds of makeup, especially costume makeup. Um, I like watching other vloggers. Um, I don't know, just kind of, I love watching music videos. Todrick Hall, my god, Todrick Hall. If you have not heard of Todrick Hall, something is wrong with you. Look him up. He's on YouTube, that's kind of where he starts. Um, he did this spell block tango. Oh my god. I love it. Like, every project he does just gets better and better and better. He does, he did, like, Cendantre or something, where it's Cinderella, but with a bunch of Beyonce music. And he did a more recent one, but I can't remember what it was called. And he's just, he's so awesome. He, I love how he, he likes to do, like, Disney characters, but he throws black on it, and it makes it really fun. Um, you know, he, like, the stereotypical, like, um, at least in America, the stereotypical, like, mm mm, -mm kind of thing. He always throws that into, like, magical Disney characters, and I love it, I love it, I love it. He's so funny. He did, he did the Hunger Games parody called The Hungry Games, which is hilarious. That made me laugh really hard. Um, he's so amazing. God, he just has this amazing artsy way of mismatching things, and I love it. Like, he did, actually, the most recent thing he did was a video, um, I don't remember the song, what it was called, but it's, um, Wizard of Oz. I believe he's the Tin Man, and then there's two other guys, one the Lion, and then one's the Scarecrow, and they're all kind of, like, singing and rapping, and it was really interesting, and interestingly filmed, which was cool. So, check him out, Todrick Hall. T-O-D-R-I-C Hall. He's awesome. He's fantastical. Um, but yeah, I love watching all different kinds of things, you know. Sometimes I like watching, like, silly people who in household accidents, you know, like, but they're okay. Or, like, funny snow fails or silly dogs and cats. Like, just kind of whatever, whatever, whatever I'm in the mood for. Um, sometimes I like watching my own videos. That sounds kind of vain or whatever, but, um, that's the only word I can come up with. I know there's other words that mean the same thing, but I'm like, vain, 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 vain. Um, but yeah, uh, my Halloween video that I did this past Halloween and the Snow Day video, I think it's because the song's so awesome. I just like re-watching those again and again because I'm like, fun. So that sounds kind of silly, but whatever. Um, I also like watching my fellow friends, like Betty Page Turner, Sassy, actually she's done so many videos lately, I have not been able to catch up, and then Rachel Whitehurst, of course, um, it's a Mia Malio, um, God, there's just, I, I'm, I try not to just follow, like, certain YouTubers forever or whatever, but if, if they're interesting enough in the majority of their videos, I tend to follow them, um, so yeah, cool. People on YouTube are cool. Um, what's the next thing? I cannot find... Man, my writing is terrible. 
Okay, 14. Do you prefer filming alone or with others? I really don't care. I don't really have much of a choice because my dogs and my kids kind of like run in here and they're like, Hey, what are you doing, Mom? So, I don't really have much of a choice. I tend to do it... I don't know if I'd feel awkward if Andrew was in the room, but I've... Get your butt out of my face. Um, I filmed like hauls and stuff like that in front of my husband while he's like watching TV. So it, it doesn't really matter to me. I don't think I'd be any different whether the camera was on me or not. I mean, this is all me. I may be a little more like exa exaggerated, maybe. I don't know. Like, I, I think I'm pretty crazy all the time. So I don't think I'm much different on here than I am in real life. So I don't. Yeah, I really don't care if anyone's in a room with me. Maybe if like. My mom or somebody was with me though. That'd be kind of weird because I'm like, da -da 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 -da, mother effing, da 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 da. And she's like, <laughs> but I don't know. I've never filmed in front of her. Maybe I'll film. We're supposed to be doing like this pizza games night. It's like a extended Christmas thing. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe I'll film that. Who knows? I don't know. She doesn't really like being filmed though. She's camera shy. Um, I can hear you, and I'm not taking you out until I'm done with this video. Get over it. Number 15. Are there any YouTubers that irk you? I don't know if there's anyone really specifically, and even if there were, I wouldn't name them, because that just seems kind of mean. Um, the only time I ever get upset on YouTube is if, um, animal cruelty, like when people... You see those cat videos of, like, cats going, and they're, like, freaking out. But it's very obviously that someone's, like, you know, harassing them. That really bothers me. Um, I don't like videos of, like, there's, sometimes there's videos of, like, parents not paying attention to their kids or something. And then they get hurt, and they're like, oh, that was funny, you fell in a hole. I'm like, your kid just fell in a hole. They might be hurt. And you're just like, nur, nur, nur. I mean, if they're obviously safe, okay, maybe you can laugh a little bit. I might laugh a little bit. But, I mean, my initial reaction would be like, oh, my God, are you okay? And they're like, I'm okay. And then you're like, oh, okay, that was funny. You know, I just don't like things like that. I don't think there's anyone in particular I don't like. I mean, if you're really annoying, maybe. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm probably really annoying to a lot of people, so... It's just kind of like your opinion. Yeah. I just don't like animal cruelty things. That's the biggest thing, really. Because um, I don't really watch anything that... I mean, if, if it annoys me, I'm just not going to watch it. You know, why would I waste my time on something that pisses me off? That just seems silly. Um, number 16. What advice would you give a new YouTuber? Um... Try new things. Don't put yourself in a box. If, I mean, feel free and start out slowly. I'm not saying, like, do the most extravagant thing you possibly think of right away. Um, I'm thinking more so, you know, start with what you know. But don't be afraid to try new things. Because for a long time, I had nothing but haul and, like, thrifting and YouTube videos. And I was boring myself to tears. I was like, oh, my God, how can anyone watch this? This is the most annoying, boring set of like five videos in a row of just nonsense. Um, so then I started getting creative with my YouTube, or YouTube, my outfit of the day things. Instead of just doing one at a time, like separately, where I'm like, made an outfit. Um, I started filming throughout the week of different outfits, and then I would do a lookbook and put it to cool music. And then I started trying to do like different poses. So I had like Superman poses and some. I was, like, being all weird, and then clipped them together, and that was fine. So, I mean, get creative with editing, too. Hi. <laughs> You're so cute. Cute little baby. Hi, cute little baby. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to try new things, and just have fun with it, and don't let people, you know, put you down. If they don't like it, they don't have to watch it. You know, just remind yourself that not everyone is so important. Not everyone's opinion is the greatest. I remember I kept getting dislikes on, like, eight of my videos in a row. And at first I was pretty discouraged. I was just kind of like, what What do you like about it? But then, you know, it's just people being trolls for no good reason. They just like to 
bad mouth and be mean for no good reason because they have nothing to do with their lives. 